Dear children, today I brought you another new lesson, Mathematics, Grade 1. The lesson is Comparing Length, Part 1. Before we move on to this lesson, we will remind about earlier lesson. Can you remember the tall and short lesson? We will learn some more about tall and short lesson. Okay children, look at the picture. Which tree is tall? Coconut tree or mango tree? Okay, now point to the tall tree. Now point to the short tree. Now we will move on to today's lesson. Today we are learning about Comparing length. Oh, length. That's a big word. That's okay, children. This lesson will be easy to understand. Please concentrate. To proceed the lesson, we have to note two words. Those are long and short. What those words? Say with me. Long and short. Look at this picture. What is it? Yes, it is a roller. To continue the lesson, you also have to find a roller. Let's learn about length by using this roller. I have marked one end of the roller as the A. The other end is B. Can you find A and B? Okay. You also can name the ruler like that. Okay. Now you can see the area between A and B. The distance between A and B or the area between A and B is called as length. This length can be short or long. Okay, repeat after me children. Length can be long or short. Length, distance are new words for you. But I know you will use to it very soon. Now, we will go through some examples. Okay, what are those pictures you can see here? Those are trains. Can you see that one train is long and other train is short? So, I hope you can clearly see the difference between long and short trains. This is our next example. There are two serpents. One is green in color, other one is blue in color. Can you recognize the long serpent? Is it blue or green? What color is short serpent children? Yes, long serpent is blue in color. Short serpent is green in color. Very good. Okay. Then we have two pens. Point to the long pen. What color is it? Is it red or blue? Yes, it is red in color. Now, Point to the short pen. What color is it? Yes, it is blue in color. Very good. There are two strips here. Strip A is long. Am I correct? Yes, I am correct. And strip B is Short. Okay. 
Now, I hope you can understand the difference between long and short. Learning about long and short is not enough. We have to learn how to draw them and how to write the spellings also. Let's learn that. Please take your personal whiteboard and get ready to do an activity. First, draw a long line on your board and name it an long. Shall we write the word long? Okay, write with me. L O N G Long Then you have to draw a short line. Name it as short. Shall we write the word short? Okay, write with me. S H O R T Short Okay children, now you have to name these two vehicles. The bus is long or short? Yes, the bus is long. And the lorry is long or short? Yes, short. The lorry is short. Okay, repeat with me. The bus is long. The lorry is short. Okay, now we are going to do a fun activity. For this, you should have some empty matchboxes. Please find some and get ready to do the activity. Okay, open the matchboxes like the pictures given here and attach them each other with the help of your parents and make a long train first. Then you can make a short train as well. Now compare them and find long and short. Check the difference between these trains. You can use some stones, buttons, tonic lids like this to make different trains. And learn about short and long by your own. To do this activity, you have to get the help of your parents. Parents can draw these pictures and let them to do the activity. Please tick the correct answer. First one, tick the long arrow. Second one, tick the short arrow. Third one, tick the long pencil. Last one, tick the short ruler. All right. Now parents can mark this for your child. Parents can help your child for this activity also. Please draw following pictures on the personal whiteboard. And children can now draw the longer picture than the given one. Dear children, please try to complete the activities by your own. Get the help from your parents for drawing only. And I hope now you have a good knowledge about the length and also long and short. Please go through the activities again and again. Please study the new words. I will bring you another lesson very soon. Until that, have a great time. Thank you.